an exceptional actor and dancer. Cameron Boyce is most recognized for his work on the Disney Channel production like Jesse and the Descendants series. Fans and the entertainment business were taken aback by his unexpected demise at the age of 20, which brought attention to his radiant career and kind nature. Cameron Boyce was born on May 28, 1999. He, his father, younger sister, mother, and dog, Sienna, resided in the Los Angeles region. His father is African-American and of Afro-Caribbean heritage. His mother is of Jewish descent. Surprisingly, as mandated by Brown v. Board of Education, his paternal grandmother, Joanne Allen Boyce, was one of the Clinton 12, the first African-Americans to attend an integrated high school in the South in 1956. Interestingly, Boyce was brought up in a creative household, with his father, who was an actor, and his mother was a talent agent. He himself grew up to be a skilled dancer, and breakdancing was his favorite style. He was part of the breakdancing group X-Mob, alongside his four friends. Boyce, who was trained as a dancer from a young age, made his debut in the music video, That Green Gentleman, Things Have Changed, by the band Panic at the Disco, in 2008. Playing a child version of guitarist Ryan Ross, he also had a recurring role in the short-lived soap opera General Hospital Night Shift in 2007 to 2008. Moreover, he showcased his dancing skills in the web series The Legend of Extraordinary Dancers. He appeared as Keith in June 2010 episode of Grown Ups, and in April 2011 he made a cameo on Good Luck Charlie by playing an imposter version of regular character Gabe Duncan. We're in this beautiful venue, the Avalon in Hollywood, and I'm hanging out right now with Cameron Boyce, who's great in this show. We call hey. it Paradise City. And uh, so good to have you here, man. I love your vibe on the set. You're always Thanks, so cool. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, everybody's really cool, man. Everybody's chill. We're all having a good time. Uh, everybody's vibing, you know? Yeah. So it's cool. I noticed that. It's one of the things, I mean, you've been acting since you were such a young guy and uh some of the different things that you've been in like from a panic at the disco video which was so cool yeah. to all the tv shows that you've done yeah. and movies like grown ups but you i mean you've seen a lot of sets would you say that this is a, a group of people that just seem to have a good vibe that keeps the energy right yeah it's so honestly one of the most underrated things about a set and what makes a project good is how people get along sort of the energy on set that translates then into, you know, the project, right? Um, so it's really important. Absolutely does. It's uh, obviously, since it was written by Ash Avildsen, right. um, it's, your character's based on a young version of him. It is, yeah, it's his story. It's his story. The first, actually it's really funny. So the first day that I ever met Ash, um, it was maybe a couple days before we started shooting, but I called him up and I said, hey man, I'd love to talk to you and just, you know, get your take on the script and, you know, all this sort of stuff. And I showed up at his house, and uh, it was him and Boo Boo were actually there. And uh, they were talking about this hawk that had flown into his house. Holy shit. All right, bird, let's figure this out. You're blending in real nice with the furniture. Tiger! Tiger, get away! And he was like, yeah, man, this hawk came into my house, and it was crazy. And I was like, wait, a hawk flew into your house? Dude, just like an hour ago, a hawk flew into my yard. And so we started talking about it and we looked at the timestamps on both of our phones. We both took videos of this hawk. Beaker, there you go. No, over. Tiger. Wow, there you go. Yeah, man. And, but yeah, it, yeah, the hip hop community is amazing, man. It's, it's a really fun, sort of similar to the rock and roll community in that, you know, uh, maybe it's a little bit controversial and people sort of look at it a certain way, but it's all about love in the end and it's all about, you know, people coming together, right? And so, yeah, the, the, the breaking was uh, back when I was maybe 11, I started, 10, maybe younger. And um, it was just a way to express myself, you know? Yeah. We're all artists, right? And we all do stuff that's, that's uh, you know, sort of true to us and uh, fun. And we just put ourselves out there. And that's yeah. what it was for me, you know? That was my thing. Yeah. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Do you have any favorite um, records or artists you can tell me about who you love to listen to? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I listen to a lot of old stuff, actually. Um, I'm kind of a Motown guy. My dad grew, grew up uh, listening to a whole bunch of Motown stuff. But, yeah, I'd say, like, Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, two of my favorites. If I'm getting into rock and roll, though, i got to be honest, Rush is one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, Great prog band. Yeah, yeah, Canadian. Yeah. They're pretty tight. Yeah. Absolutely. Canadian, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. 
but yeah, I mean, I listen to so much random stuff, but yeah, yeah. a few names for you there. That's amazing. And looking at your ancestry too, with 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 Joanne, who yeah. so was one of the original Clinton Twelve. Like yes. that is amazing. It was the first time integration took place in a school, which was such an important moment. Is that wild? Does you, do you, does your family tell you stories about it? Oh man, do you yeah. know her? We, we we talk about it constantly. It's actually funny. Uh, so there's a new Tennessee State Museum that just opened like a couple months ago. 2011, Boyce appeared as a featured dancer in a Dancing with the Stars special and in the television sitcom Shake It Up from 2010 to 2013. Cameron's on-screen performances received critical acclaim and won him nominations for various accolades, including the Teen Choice Accolades and the Kids' Choice Awards. Boyce was a charming kid actor who made his big screen debut in September 2011 in Disney's Jesse. Boy spent four years as, as the lead in the series. He reached even greater heights thanks to his part in the Descendants film, which topped cable TV movie ratings in 2015 and 2017. He was chosen by the Disney Channel to play Carlos in Descendants, in the follow-up film Descendants 2 and Descendants 3. He played the same character. In the follow-up films, Descendant 2. In the follow-up films, Descendants 2 and Descendants 3, he played the same character. In 2019, he portrayed Zack in HBO's Miss Fletcher. Boyce accomplished an abundance of goodness. He conducted a successful birthday campaign in 2018, resulting in the construction of two freshwater wells in Switzerland. Resulting in the construction of two freshwater wells in Swaziland. As a result, he received the Pioneering Spirit Award at the 9th Annual Thirst Project Gala. After Cameron died, the prize was renamed the Cameron Boys Pioneering Spirit Award in his honor. In addition to this, he backed the United Way of Americans campaign to eradicate homelessness. In 2015, and up to the end of his life, he also contributed to the Home Walks fundraising efforts. He took part in the opening ceremony of the 12th annual home walk in downtown Los Angeles in May of 2019, which is one of the biggest public gatherings to combat homelessness in the country. Unfortunately, his life was cut short at the age of 20, leaving a gap in the entertainment business. According to a family statement, Boyce died in his sleep at his Los Angeles home on July 6, 2019, due to a seizure, which was a result of an ongoing medical condition for which he was being treated. He was just 20 years old. Moreover, his parents, Libby and Victor, also revealed in an interview that he had his first seizure at the age of 16 and has only had five seizures in his life, all of which occurred while he was sleeping. <sighs> Following his terrible death from SUPED, sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, the Cameron Boy Foundation, TBCF, TCBF was founded in his memory. Boyce understood the importance of kindness, the blessing of family, and the joy of the creative arts. He lived his life through this lens, and TCBF continues in that spirit, with Boyce serving as their leader and compass. His sister Maya also spoke up about his terrible demise, and a heartfelt tribute to her brother, 17-year-old Maya detailed Cameron's final hours. Yes, he died. Yes, I'm sad. Maya began her post. Cameron was my best friend. He is someone I will always idolize. His smile could light up a room unlike anyone else's. He was perfect. Maya ended the post beautifully by writing, I spent 17 years knowing what it was like to be loved by Cameron Boyce. That is the most beautiful gift I have ever received. To conclude, Cameron Boyce served as an inspiration to many young people around the globe. His talent, charisma, and commitment to making a difference had an unforgettable impact on his followers' lives. His talent, charisma, and commitment to making a difference had an unforgettable impact on his followers' lives. Cameron had a strong interest in the arts since he was a child. He supported a variety of artists, mediums, and believed in the power of storytelling. 